what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Time to chop it up about my favorite sport in the whole wide world, boxing. Boy, I tell you, it ain't nothing like two combatants squaring off. They don't like each other. And going at it, trying to knock each other's head off. Damn, it's a beautiful thing, man. I mean, I'm, I'm having flashbacks. Yeah, but anyway, uh, Tuesday, Floyd Mayweather was at an event with Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey, and TMZ caught up with him, asked him some questions about a fight between he and MMA fighter Conor McGregor. And Floyd basically was like saying that, hey, this guy has a shot, you know? The guy has done what he's had to do to become a star. He's beaten the people he's had to beat. He's a very powerful fighter. He got a shot. Now, where specifically did he say that? Well, he did say this. I've been off for a couple of years, and I'm 40 years old now. So I'm a lot older, and he's still in his 20s. And I'm in my 40s now. So that could play a major role. We don't know. And he's a heavy hitter. So he didn't say it straight out, but he did allude to the fact that dude has a chance. Now, Floyd says that uh, McGregor has been crushing uh, fighters, and he has. I mean, the dude ain't no joke. I mean, he ain't a bum. Now, dude could hit you in the mouth one time and I got all your teeth. So anybody thinking that a dude is some type of a bum or whatever, he's sadly mistaken. Now does he have a chance though? It's boxing. All it takes is one punch. One punch, he could be losing the whole fight. 12 rounds, one punch and you out of here. But I'm gonna tell you this. I am sick of hearing about Floyd Mayweather fighting Conor McGregor. It kind of reminds me of when everybody wanted Floyd to fight Pacquiao. And that drug out, man, for damn six years. Hopefully, this don't take that long. Now, I'm sick, I'm like I I'm sick of hearing about it. But I ain't so sick of hearing about it that every time somebody start talking about it or I see some type of article or I see some video or something, I got to peep, man. I can't, I can't stop peeping, you know. Uh, it's something I would, I'd like to see it. I, I would be very, very curious to see the fight. I think it would be very interesting. I think that I do know what the outcome is going to be, and I'll tell you that in a minute. Um, but let's get to the numbers. Conor McGregor had a fight where he headlined and he drew in 1.6 million, uh, um, what do you call them, viewers for pay-per-view. And by comparison, Floyd's biggest numbers were 4.6, where he headlined against Pacquiao and broke the motherfucking bank. $300 million for one boxing match, man. Crazy. Now, I think Floyd was trying to give Connor something around the neighborhood of $50 million or something, guaranteed something around there. Could have been less, but dude has never made $10 million in a fight. So Floyd feel like he's being real, real generous. Anything in the neighborhood of $20, 20 million plus Floyd feels like dude ought to be dropping to his knees and thanking him. But if you look at the, the pay-per-view numbers and you look at the 1.6 million, you look at the 4.6 million, uh, that means that Floyd is somewhere in the neighborhood of doing 75% better numbers than Conor McGregor. So... If you look at the amount that Floyd is getting at 300 million that he got off the last fight, if Floyd is trying to get to that 300 million again, then 
Connor should probably get somewhere around 75 million, if my math is correct. Yeah, 75 million. Yeah. So, you know, fans change ain't robbery, you know. Um, Connor McGregor, he is the uh, MMA star. I mean, he's their brightest star out there. He's a big, big, big draw. He's a powerful fighter, powerful puncher. Um, not, not somebody that you can just walk through at all. So I think if they fought, Floyd would definitely have to fight him. Now, some people are saying that why does Conor McGregor have to box? Why don't Floyd, you know, go over to the NBA? Why don't he come into Conor McGregor's world? That doesn't make sense. Floyd is clearly the draw. He's clearly the person that everybody wants to see. Well, not everybody, but he would be the reason that if they were to break the bank, it would be because of him. Because a lot of people support him, but I dare to say a lot more people want to see Floyd get his ass whooped. And it's kind of reminiscent of Muhammad Ali back in the days when Muhammad Ali used to talk all that shit. And people wanted to see Muhammad Ali lose. And so I suspect that people would pay a hefty amount of money to watch that happen. But it's going to be a little tricky trying to find a commission, a boxing commission, to sanction the fight because... Conor McGregor has never had a boxing match. And Floyd Mayweather is a seasoned veteran with a 49-0 and 0 record. So they're going to have to finagle that. Now, I, I suspect they'll figure out a way to get the numbers done because this is America. This is a capitalist society. And money comes before everything in this country. Everything. Money comes before integrity, morals, values, life, human life. Money, money, money. So I figure they'll find some kind of way to make those numbers work. Now, a Las Vegas uh, book booking uh, agency actually did the numbers, and they, they did a hypothetical fight. They said what would happen if, if the fight was to happen hypothetically. And... They had Floyd at a 25 to 1 favor. 25 to 1. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something. And I'll go ahead and reveal what I think will happen right now. That's generous. That's very generous. Now, granted that Conor McGregor is 28 years old and Floyd Mayweather is 40. And Conor McGregor's last fight was at 155 and Floyd Mayweather has never fought over 151. It's not enough. It's not enough because he's too skilled. Floyd Mayweather is too skilled in boxing. If Floyd was to go into his world, I would say Floyd don't stand a chance. But he's coming into Floyd's world. And I don't think he stands a chance in hell. He don't stand a snowball chance in hell. Do you know what that means? Can you imagine a snowball being able to survive in hell can't happen just not gonna happen um so uh to me it's like that would be like comparing lebron james a lebron james match golfing match against tiger woods even though tiger woods is older and uh, a lot smaller you know, LeBron has the size, he has the youth. On a golf uh, on a golf course, he wouldn't stand a chance. In fact, we can take that. We can we, we don't have to use uh LeBron. We can use somebody a lot younger than LeBron. You know, think about somebody who who else, who else is out there? I mean, think of whoever, whoever is out there. Whatever newest young cat is out there. I haven't been watching a lot of basketball lately or whatever. But, you know, you know, put Put um put anybody out there, any young cat out there, young big cat out there against Tiger Woods, and he's gonna get circles ran around. So 
That's my take. Age and size uh, cannot close the gap when it's that big. If you like the videos that I'm bringing to you, you appreciate them, you find value in them, follow the movement, man. Make sure y'all go to patreon.com slash Willie D Live. You did? No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah. 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 Yeah.